A video that apparently shows a landlord using a chainsaw to break down the door of a tenant who refused to leave one of his properties went absolutely viral in the last couple of days. Let's just take a little bit of a look at the, at the clip, shall we? Well, join me now to talk me through why he did this and what was really going on. Was the very landlord featured in that video? It's uh, Samuel Leeds. Samuel, thank you very, very much. Great to have you on the show. Right, so look, can you just clear things up? Because if you read all the articles online and all the comments on Twitter, it, it looks like you've kind of broken the law and that it's all been uh, a bit of a nightmare, really. So what, what was going on there? Well, firstly... Breaking entry to a property when there's a guest in the property that's not paying rent is not breaking the law. It's completely legal. But secondly, um, I did it deliberately as a stunt because I knew, guaranteed, I said to all my friends that the media would report it like crazy and make me look like the bad guy. But the interesting thing is, if you go into a shop and you steal something, you go in and steal bread, everyone will say, that person deserves to be punished. But for some weird reason, you steal from a landlord or a property owner, and then suddenly, it's all right. I'm the criminal. I'm the bad guy for evicting that person. So, yeah, there's a lot of nonsense being talked about on social media. Mm. Um, uh, even, do you know what's really interesting as well? That video that I posted was banned from TikTok. Right. But then the Daily Mail posted it, and it's still up there. Was right there anyone in that property? They posted it and so, talked nonsense. Yeah, was, was there anyone in the that property? No, it was a stunt. It was empty. Right. I just bought it. It was a hotel. Class, class, um, class C1 hotel with no tenants possibly in it because it's a hotel. And if there was tenants in it that weren't paying, they're guests anyway. They don't pay. I can kick them out. So this how does it work? The, dif the, dif right, the, the difference, right, between a, a tenant... And a guest. Can you just explain that? Yes. Well, it seems like I have to because GB News don't have a clue because they reported today. Landlord kicks out tenant with chainsaw. Tenant. Not a tenant in there. I never said there was a tenant in there. Right. Well, well I certainly haven't. I'll, I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen that. I certainly haven't reported that. So if that has happened, then apologies. But It's nonsense. Um, right. So, but just, guess explain, somebody, just explain the difference between, uh, between guest and tenant then, mate. Go on. Okay. Because landlords are so persecuted in this country, in Britain, a lot of landlords are now renting their properties out instead to guests, like, like how you'd rent out a hotel. Mm. So you don't rent the property, you hire the property, and you pay nightly for it. It's tax efficient, it gives way better cash flow, and if your guest doesn't pay, they have no rights. If they're okay. in there and they don't pay, you can kick them out within 24 hours. Okay. And... I mean, do you have to kick people out a lot? Not, not a lot, but yeah, I do have to. Um, and 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 I did, I did, a, I did a post on Twitter today, a poll, and I said, if you've got someone living in your property and they're not paying you to stay there, mm. should you a evict them or b just let them stay there for free? Sixty-two mm. percent of people, and there was thousands of people that filled the poll out. Sixty-two percent said. Let them live there for free. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because there is a perception, right? There is a perception. I mean, obviously, however you choose to express, uh, you know, a, 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 a staged eviction or whatever, whether or not that's with a chainsaw or, or through another means, there is a perception that landlords are flush with cash, that they've got loads of money, and that it doesn't really matter if someone doesn't pay rent right. um, for a couple of months. Uh, is, that, is that true? I mean, you're described as a millionaire landlord. I mean, is that accurate? I'm, I'd be embarrassed to be a millionaire. I'm a, a multi-millionaire and I make over a million pounds a month. If I was a millionaire, I'd be very embarrassed. Right. So, yeah, I'm a multi-millionaire. So, make so many I millions. Suppose, with, with respect, Samuel, I suppose the argument might be that you probably could afford for somebody to maybe not pay rent. That's before. a terrible argument. That's a horrible argument. And also, right, if someone's, in, if someone's in a property and they're not paying rent, I mean, you could say, oh, well, Asda can afford it. As they can afford for people to go in and steal bread. But mm. we wouldn't say that because it's immoral. You should pay for the service that you have. It's irrelevant how rich I am. If someone's, and also, not only, I'm, I'm probably the most compassionate landlord in the UK, for the record. I don't go in and kick out tenants real fast. I'm a compassionate person. But if there's someone 
that's not paying and they, they, they don't have a right to stay. Evicting them is, is not at all. And also an, inter- an interesting point is the media that jumped on that story real fast, I knew they would. It was in the, it was in, uh, the Mirror, the Daily Mail, GB News. It was in uh, all of them. All, it was the Sun. And all of them, number one, talked nonsense by saying landlord kicks out tenant. And it was, all, it was all making out it was illegal. It's not illegal. If a guest doesn't pay, you can get them out instantly. It's like the same as if you're at a hotel. But secondly, I was painted as the criminal for getting possession of my property back perfectly legally. It could have been that the person in there was a criminal, was, 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 was running a brothel. No, no, no one thinks, oh, wow. You know, everyone just thinks, oh, the landlord's terrible. The, the whole society and the narrative on landlords is just screwed. And right now, landlords need support. OK. All right. Look, Samuel, thank you very much. I appreciate you coming on and putting that side across. I hope you feel heard. Uh, that is uh, Samuel Leaves there, who's the uh, co-owner of Property Tribes. Interesting stuff. Uh-